Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jamila and you are crafting with the Penny Pinching Wife. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create mock-ups using Canva. Now there are tons of different websites out there where you can also um, create mock-ups, but of course I like to use Canva because it is free. So basically a mock-up, if you don't know what it is, is a way to showcase your products without actually having to create the product and to show it, if that makes any sense. So, okay, the first thing we're gonna do, I'm already logged into my Canva account. So I'm just gonna go ahead over here to create a design. And I'm going to go to Facebook post. Now, the one thing I like about Canva is that, you know, Canva, you can do it on your computer and they have an app. So whatever I save on my computer, I can, is also automatically saved to the app. So I can do the design on my computer, but then I can go to my app, save the picture and post it. So now we have this little blank screen right here. I'm going to go ahead and go over here to photos. And I'm going to use this one, but in order for me to get to that one, I basically went to photos and in the search bar, I entered mugs. And then you see they have several different options. I like it, it, um, the pictures where people are actually like holding it just to give um, customers an idea of how it may look in their hands or, you know, how tall it may be or, you know, just to give them a better visual of the product. So I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. And I don't want to sh stretch the picture out too much. So in order to get rid of these white sides, I'm just going to go over here to background. And I'm just going to get a black background. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead over here and hit text and add like some text to the sides or whatever. But it's not really necessary. But that's just something if you wanted to. So now that I have this all set up, I'm just going to go over ahead over here to my uploads and you see all my designs, um, all my SVGs and PNGs and things that I've uploaded. And then you just take it basically and size it and place it right there. Now you definitely want to size this correctly, okay, because you want it to look as real as possible. Now I know I didn't create this product, but we don't want the customer to know, you know, that it's a fake image or whatever. So sizing your image, like, you know, scaling your image down to the correct size of whatever item is you're using is very important. So I would just put that Merry Christmas right there and maybe throw this little guy up there or whatever. You know, whatever images you wanna use. And just make him a little bit smaller. And bam, you know, that could be a mug design. So that's um, one mock-up we could use. Um, another mock-up they have um a popular item or whatever is t-shirts so i'm just going to type in let me type in t-shirts and see what pops up okay so they have this one right here like hanging on a hanger or they have this one right here where it's like laid out let me see if i, I know there's one with some people are like wearing this is cool because it could show you your design in several different colors and you make sure like when you're doing um getting these mock-ups you want to find like a shirt that is super close to whatever the product is that you're going to actually be selling okay you don't want to have um you know like a crop top or whatever but you're not actually selling crop tops Oh, I saw somebody wearing one and I missed it. I mean, this is cool. That's cool. Hmm. There's another one I use like all the time, but I can't find it now. Whatever. So we'll just go with her. And uh, again, same process. Just go ahead over here to my uploads.
And let's let's just pick this one just for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, and then I'll just scale that down to size. And this just, you know, gives your customers an idea. I like pictures with people wearing it because it can kind of give me an idea of what this will look like on me. Okay. I mean, I know you guys saw in um <clears throat> in the search that they had the flat lays or whatever. Flat lays are cool, you know, but I prefer um images with models that'll give me an idea of what it'll look like on me. So that'd be like t-shirts and another mock-up I I use I use quite often is notebooks. And plus, you guys, notebooks are like pretty important in your business or whatever because you want to have great pictures to really, really showcase your product, okay? I'm not super good at taking pictures. I'm working on it, you know, so mock-ups can really, you know, help attract the customers, um, whatever, because, you know, it has like pretty lighting, it's staged pretty, and all the other extra stuff, so... That's why I like to use mock-ups and then I don't have to worry about wasting material on, you know, creating something and maybe, you know, that's not a, a good seller or if I have multiple designs and I have to create multiple things, I don't have time for all that, right? So this is a good image to use. So I'm just going to size that down. And I actually bring... I like the um, binding to be shown so people actually know what kind of binding they'll be getting. And the way I actually designed this, if I try and move it in, the design is going to get cut off. So I'm going to pick a different picture. Let me see. Let's do this background. Oh, no, let me use my galaxy background that I actually created myself. Right, and then I like to make it just a little, 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 little bit transparent. And then, of course, I'll just throw something on top of it. Yeah, let me just throw my Supergirl up here, okay? So you have that, and, and if I wanted to, I could just go over here and add some text. I don't like that color. Well, you know, this is just an example. It doesn't have to be like super perfect right now. Can't see that one. Probably do black just so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing over here. So that's basically it. That's um just a few different um, mock-ups that they have available for you guys in Canva. Um, of course, you know, you guys go over here on the website, go to canva.com, go over here to photos and just play with it, you know, um, just see what's out there, see the different things that you can do. Those are just a few tips and tricks for you guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.